G'day, I'm Alex and welcome to another motor drag battle. Today, we are racing super SUV. Welcome to the cabin of the Mercedes AMG GLE 63S Coupe. <laughs> That's quite a mouthful. It's also the latest in a crop of super SUVs to arrive in Australia. And neither of these cars is what you would call cheap. The AMG starts at $220,600 before on roads, which is about 12 and a half grand more expensive than the Audi. But then again, all of the numbers in the AMG seem to be bigger, including power and torque. Both of these cars are powered by a 4-litre twin-turbo V8 supplemented by a 48-volt mild hybrid system, but the AMG produces a vaguely ridiculous 450 kilowatts and 850 newton metres. The Audi only has 441 kilowatts and 800 newton metres. Plus, I reckon this car sounds better as well. But in saying all of this, this car is also heavier by around 130 kilograms with a curb weight of 2,370 kegs. These are big buses. But enough talking, let's go and race and see which of these two is quickest. As always, we're gonna do multiple runs. We'll start with a launch control, then do a street race and a roll race. All of the time codes are in the description below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the Motor YouTube channel. It helps us create more drag race videos like this one. Now over in the RSQ8, I have my partner in crime, Daniel Gardner, who is today wearing a disappointingly normal t-shirt. Daniel, hello, how are you feeling? I'm excited, Alex, I'll be completely honest. Well, I'm already at a disadvantage because our first run is a launch control run and I've just discovered the AMG doesn't actually have launch control. <laughs> Are you serious? An AMG, is that a real AMG? It doesn't have launch control? It has race mode and a drag race uh, telemetry in the center screen, but no actual race start. So I'm gonna have to load it up on the brake. I feel like I'm making excuses already, but I don't know, you could be at an advantage. Sounds very much like I've won already. Well, let's see what's what, let's get to it. He's got me. Damn it! <laughs> that is properly manic off the light. Oh, and I'm ahead. I'm easily ahead. He has smoked me, unfortunately. And I'm getting further ahead. He is nowhere. was very embarrassing if you're the driver of a Mercedes. I thought I got a pretty good getaway, but um, after the initial jump, you just rocketed ahead. I didn't think it was gonna be that much quicker, but it was not only sharper off the mark, but it was still pulling away. It was amazing. Yeah, that was a 4.2 second to 100 k's an hour, so four tenths away from the official claim. And I'm a four second, four seconds dead. So still not on the 3.8 claim, uh, but um, I don't know what you noticed, quicker than yours, Alex. Well, you would expect the car with launch control to beat the one without. So exactly how fast are they? Well, with some finessing, we managed to go even faster in the Audi, with this run clocking 3.8 seconds to 100 and 11.9 seconds over the quarter. Not having launch control sees the AMG waste valuable tenths in the initial jump off the line, 
and the Big Bends can't match its official claim. The clock's 4.2 seconds to 100 and 12.2 over the quarter. try and salvage some redemption for the AMG though, let's do a street start. So no launch control, have the car in their comfort mode and just flatten it um, from the line when we hit three, two, one, go. Oh, I like the sound of it. Proper, proper street racing style. Hopefully it's a closer result. Okay, Daniel, this is your first attempt at one of these in our drag race series. So do you understand the rules of engagement? Car in comfort mode, left foot resting lightly on the brake so you don't roll away. And then when we get to three, two, one, zero, flatten the accelerator and just let the car work it out. Let's give it a go. Three, two, one, go. Oh, yes, I've picked up quicker than he has. Oh, Alex is just ahead, but he's got nothing on me. I'm a nose ahead, half a car length ahead. Ah, he was definitely over the line first. That's a victory for the AMG. All right, go on, do it, gloat. No, no, no. I will be uh, chivalrous in my victory, but I wasn't expecting that, to be honest. Once we were up and running, it was way closer. Yeah, it just looked like the Audi took a little bit longer to figure out what you wanted it to do. Yeah, that's because the Audi actually has the option to use launch control when you want it. Okay, so that is one win apiece. Let's go into a roll race and see who has the edge there. So we're going to both uh, get up to 50 k's an hour, constant speed, have the gearbox and the drive modes in the most aggressive setting. Then when we get the countdown, three, two, one, flatten it, see who has the best response and best in-gear acceleration. got better response than I did. Whoa. Damn, now there's no catching him. Audi surging ahead. Oh, that was so much more muscular and athletic. Damn. Alex is, oh, a little dot in my rear view mirror. <laughs> I didn't lose that badly. It was only a car length or so, I think. But I'm really bummed because I thought I was going to win that one after walking the comfort race, but I didn't. Neither car are exactly slow, though, are they? It was weird then because both cars responded really evenly, but then you just seemed to, I like had half a second of delay in here before I took off after you. You're right, I could see that we both hit the gas exactly the same time, but yeah, for some reason that took a little lot longer. Typical brake test procedure. Dan and I are gonna both get up to 100 k's an hour, do a full emergency stop at the cones, see who pulls up first. Honestly, I'm at a disadvantage. He's got some of the largest brakes fitted to any production car on sale, and I weigh more, 130 kilos more, so. I'm not very confident. Hundred k's an hour. Oh! oh. Ah. I thought it was going to be really close, but he pulled up in a shorter distance. So it's a convincing win for the Audi. We'll have another motor drag battle dropping this time next week. 
So if you haven't already, please hit subscribe to our channel. And if you have any suggestions on the cars you'd like to see us race, let us know in the comments.